In Hamilton, Spin Studio Spin Co. remains closed as it deals with being one of the worst super spreader outbreaks in the country. Now, at least 80 COVID-19 cases are tied to this location. One of the studio's members who caught the virus at a spin class is now speaking out in support of the facility and all gyms for that matter. And Julia Smith joins us with more from Hamilton. Julia, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Anthony. Thank you for having me. First of all, and perhaps more importantly, I want to find out how your health is and what your journey has been like since being diagnosed with COVID-19. Um, well, thank you for asking. Yes, I'm doing so much better the last few days. Each day I feel um, stronger and have more energy. Um, it was a tough two weeks, um, but yes, feeling a lot better now. Thank you. So it was pretty much confirmed and you know for sure that it came from that spin class. Um, yes, um, I, I, I felt um, I fell down with the virus on um, October the 3rd, was tested on the 4th and was notified from Spinco towards the end of that week um, that there had been a positive case of COVID. They also informed um, the riders who had been um, cycling in those classes with the positive case and one of those classes I had attended, which was on the, the Tuesday. Now, 80 cases, obviously an alarming number. Did you feel any indication that this was an unsafe facility whatsoever? Did you have any concern? Not at all. I mean, when they reopened, uh, there was a very strict protocol um, that was emailed out to all of the riders. You had to mask up when you went into um, the studio. You were tested, your temperature was tested. You were asked numerous questions every single time. Masked up when you got on the bike. Um, it was only when the instructor was secure in the bike that you were allowed to take the mask off and then you had to put the mask back on to leave the building. And yeah. the, the well, you're right, because the facility has always said that they adhere to all the safety protocols. But given that and given the high number, how do you sort of answer the bigger question in a way of making sure these spin studios and really all gyms for that matter or fitness studios are going to be safe? I think obviously the mask wearing is a, is a huge part of preventing the spread. Um, from spinning, in the spinning perspective, I think that perhaps if the um, instructor could be surrounded with a plexiglass wall, that might help the spread of the aerosol vapors. And that if the riders themselves would refrain from shouting out, I think that could help. As we look ahead and try to navigate this second wave and a lot of uh, obviously a lot of places are dealing with the hot spots and the closures of these facilities. What would you like done? Because some of them are closed entirely. This facility in Hamilton is closed, but Hamilton is not part of the overall hotspot region. What is your recommendation given your experience with COVID and being being a client at this facility? Um, I would really like to see them remain uh, well, to, to remain open um, not just from a cardio um, fitness perspective but also from the mental health um, it is so valuable for so many people within the community and um, for what they offer so uh, i think it would be um, a detriment to see them through the winter months being closed given everything and given the numbers do you have any concern about returning in the future none whatsoever no why um, I think that they are going to, to carry on having the strict protocol that they have. And I think they're probably going to make sure that people do wear masks, probably even during the spinning. And I think that they will do everything, hopefully like a plexiglass wall or anything that the public health advised them to do so that they can um, remain open, which I hope they, that is the case. Well, it certainly raises a lot of questions. We really appreciate you sharing your story with us, an important perspective to have. Julia, Julia Smith from Hamilton, thank you again.